Hey guys, it's Matt with Jinx Brothers. Here we are with another hunt. I don't have my box because I used it for my box of Wheaties. I checked for enders and the only ender I have is this super crude penny is gonna have a complete hole through it. So I'm gonna start with that roll and I'll get back with you with the first find. Open the first roll. No Wheaties, but it ranged from our assassinated Lincoln, the hole in his head. Serious, serious corrosion. I don't know if someone's got acid to this or what, but it's really damaged. Two, whoops, a brand spanking new super shiny 2020. So we had a wide range, but no Wheaties. Like I said before, I'll get back with my first find. Alrighty guys, we have our next find. Do you see it? We got a dime. 1974D, we're up nine cents. We'll add it up to our board. Still pretty slow, but that was the next roll, so maybe things are picking up. I'll get back into this. Roll 16. We finally found a weedy. Whoops. Nineteen fifty seven D. Whew. That was a long haul, man. So we've got three finds now. I'll come back when we have another. Next roll. Looks like we're warming up, folks. We have our first foreign now. Canadian. What year we have here? 1989. Kind of beat up, but still a find. Add to the mix, and we'll get back to the hunt. Roll 19. We've got a wee facing us. 1945. Not too shabby. Second weedy of the box. Get back to the roll. Same roll. We got another one. It's a foreign. 1971. One cent from Canada. Let's get back to it. Roll 21. We're still smoking along here. In between all these bright ones, we've got a weedy. Nineteen forty-five. P. Weedy number three. Let's get back to the rolls. Same roll. Almost to the end of it. This one definitely looks a little newer. 1946, one year newer. <laughs> Weedy number five. Well, the dry spell has ended. We had nothing through, like, what was it, 12 rolls? And then all of a sudden we've up to five. Let's keep, let's keep doing this. Roll 23. We've got another Weedy. Haven't seen the date yet. I'm hoping for a 30s. 1944 D. Hope all you want, Matt. You're just going to get another 40. <laughs> Back to the hunt. Next roll, roll 24. We have another foreign. 82. Canadian. Horns are catching up to the Wheaties. Only need to get a couple more. Will they catch up? We'll have to find out. Roll 29. We've got some suspects here. This one's looking pretty yellow. 1930. Nice. There's 
one a couple more further up here than where'd you go uh, maybe I was seeing things oh there it is oh out of 1955 Let's check here while I've got you guys and see if I see any other suspects. I do not. I'll be back with the next find. Oh! That was the other one. No. Not a weedy. Just a turkey. See you in a bit. Same roll. This one was facing me. 1957D. It's like weedy number eight. Let's keep going. Roll 30. This one almost snuck by me. It's pretty dirty. It's always a little tricky. I mean, they're a little more yellowish, kind of wheat colored. This is a 56D. Pretty grungy. But I was wrong on that last one. Now we have 10 weedies. And we still got 20 rolls to go. This is awesome. Let's keep going. Roll 32. The coins are getting cleaner, but the box is definitely cooling off. 1946D. Have weedy number 12. Roll 35. Got another 2009. Not very pretty, but still a 2009. Let's get back to the rolls. I was feeling sad about that box of Wheaties. This box has been amazing. It's been such a weird box. 1938. It's in really nice shape, too. Let's get back here and look at the pile of 2020 that I've got. All right, we'll add this to the lot, get back into the coins. Roll 43. Sandwich between these two dirty coins was another Canadian, 1983. That's our fourth, fourth foreign. Back into the rolls. Alrighty guys, it's time to wrap up the hunt. It was a wild one. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this particular box had really strange stuff in it. It had some, it had a lot of damaged, corroded coins with stuff on it. It had a lot of really nice coins and it, ha it ended up producing <clears throat> 12 Wheaties as well as two 2009s, a dime, four foreigns, and a boatload. That's right there is six rolls worth of brand new 2020. Not sure how many of those I want to keep. If you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know whether I should save some of them. I'm, you know, it's a three dollar investment to keep those. But if those end up having an error in them that someone finds, and I've got them stashed away and don't have to hunt for them to look for it, it might be pretty sweet. Then again, it might be three dollars tied up. Uh, not even copper being in them. So let me know what you think. Should I keep some? Should I keep them all? Should I toss them all back? Um, I've got one in my book, so that's good. But anyways, we'll uh, give you a little more detail on these. The foreigns were uh, 71. They were all Canadians. It was a 71, an 82, an 83, the dirtiest of them was the youngest, or I should say, yeah, the youngest, uh, at 89. We did get that one dime, 
So we made nine cents already on this uh, thing, or this box. Uh, like I said, we found two different 2009s, and two of them as total. We have these two funky ones, man. They were really beat up. This, this particular one here kind of looks like a parking lot coin, but it is, you can't even tell what it is. I only know that it's, I know it's a Lincoln sign because I can see his head, but you can't tell what year it is. You can't, it could be a wheat for all we know. It's copper, but besides being copper, I don't know what it is. And then somebody tore this poor guy up, cut him all up. It's a 60 something, it says 1960. They tore up the front and the back. The back's not quite as bad as the front, but somebody abused that. I'm gonna throw that in with my coppers. And then for the, well actually I wanna start over here so with the newer ones. We had uh, two 57Ds. We had a 56D, a 55, and a 55D. I checked it for doubling and no such luck in this hunt. Uh, the 40, for the 40s, we had uh, a 46 and a 46D, two 45s, and a 44D. And then, believe it or not, after all that pain I went through with the box of Wheaties, this one box threw three, two 30s at me. So I've got a 1930 and a 1935. Both of them are Philly. Um, they're actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, at least they are compared to the ones that I looked at in my other box. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So overall, this is a pretty awesome box. It was, it was certainly fun to hunt because it had a little bit of everything in it. Um, and not to mention that it uh, produced 12 Wheaties, which is a little bit higher than my average. So if you like the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, consider subscribing if you'd like to uh, see my other videos. And I'll see you guys on the next hunt. Thanks again for watching.